Hey guys, welcome back or the first time here. Welcome. I really hope you enjoyed today's video as well as my channel. Definitely do not forget to hit that subscribe button below if you do. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a little bit of like a product spotlight because I have recently found a new lip product and not to sound dramatic, I sort of fell in love with it. It is probably one of the best lip products I've ever tried. And honestly, I feel like it is pretty underrated. I haven't heard too many people talk about it. And once you finally find out what this product is, because I sort of want to leave you in a little bit of suspense, definitely let me know what you think of it if you have tried it. Also, let me know if you like it when I do these like product spotlight videos. And definitely hit that bell button if you like to get notifications for me every time I upload. I'm sure you guys are wondering what this product is, so let's get into it. So the star product that we're going to be talking about today is the Nude Sticks Intense Matte Lip and Cheek Pencil. So I've sort of been on a little bit of a product hunt for a while. I've been really looking for a alternative to a liquid lipstick, a matte lipstick, but that's also not going to completely dry out my lips and that's also going to be just as long wearing as a liquid lipstick and I feel like I finally found the product that just has that magical combination of longevity comfort and just total matte so that's why I'm really excited to talk about these with you guys because I honestly have never found any other lip products that actually have all three of those factors. So let's first start off with the basics just so you guys can get a good idea of what the product is like overall. So the product retails for $24 and there's 2.8 grams of product actually in here, which really isn't a ton of product considering something like this YSL lipstick does have like four grams of product, but it's also not that surprising considering that this is basically like a chubby pencil. So each little pencil comes comes with a little tin and also a sharpener because like I said, this is a chubby pencil. So you are going to have to sharpen the product in order to, you know, revive it once it's sort of like dulled down. I do really like that they actually provided their own sharpener with every single pencil because I do find that whenever I try and sharpen a giant pencil, it always gets ruined if I don't use like the right sharpener. As far as the color range goes for this particular formula, there are 12 shades ranging from like nudes to brights and a lot of different red shades as well. That's something that I did notice. Now I'm really hoping that they're going to expand the range and add more unique shades to it because I honestly just want like every shade of the rainbow in this formula but that's just me. <laughs> What's also really nice about this product is that it is pretty versatile. You can use it not only on your lips, but also on your cheeks and honestly, even on your eyes. I personally have actually never tried it on my cheeks, so I can't really say how they perform just based off the formula that it would probably be really, really pretty, especially since it is quite a long wearing and matte product. I could imagine it sort of staying on the cheeks for quite a long time. I am definitely gonna test that out. Let me know in the comments though, if you have tried this product on the cheeks and what you think of it, but that is something nice to keep in mind that you can use this product for multiple uses. All right, so now let's actually get into like the main reasons as to why I like this product so much. So firstly, it's really all about the formula and this is the best matte formula I have ever tried in my makeup life. Now the formula itself is actually very lightweight, which I think is the main factor as to why these are so comfortable. They're not like super gel-like or super waxy. So when you apply them to your lips, it honestly feels like you're applying lip balm and really nothing more. And that is just so mind blowing, especially for a formula that is fairly, fairly matte. You know those lip products that are so matte that when you apply them to the lips, they literally pull on your lips as you apply them. This is definitely not the case with this lip product. Obviously it is a matte lip product, but I do want to mention that it is not like a flat matte lip product. Something like a liquid lipstick is so matte that sometimes it can look a little bit chalky or just not really flattering, especially if you do have a lot of lines on your lips. Overall, I just feel like it is definitely much more of a flattering finish. I am wearing it on my lips right now. You can see it has absolutely no shine, but it still looks almost like cushiony and hydrating. It doesn't look chalky or dry or just not good. Now, as far as the longevity for this product, it's definitely a very long wearing product. I could wear this for a few hours easily without needing to retouch. And what's really great about this formula is that you can retouch it without completely taking off the lip color, especially with liquid lipsticks. It's basically impossible to reapply throughout the day because once you start to layer that type of formula, it will start to crumble off of your lips. That's definitely not the case with this product. You could easily reapply this throughout the day without worrying that you're building up the product so much that it's going to like flake off your lips because like I said, it's just not a drying formula, so it's not gonna happen because it is so nice and creamy. I do wanna mention that it is very possible to get that dreaded butthole lip with these products because they are matte and because they do sort of suction cup to your lips to some degree, 
it is very possible that you will get that dreaded line like right over here that isn't always the most flattering. But what's really nice about this formula is that you can actually fix it very easily just by running your finger over the product. Since it's not totally, totally dry down on your lips, you are able to sort of manipulate it a bit and to rub off that um, like really, really harsh line. Now I do want to mention one con. It's not so much of a con for me, but I do know that this could bother some people. Basically when you touch your lips together after applying it, you will feel a little bit of tackiness. It's really not that much tackiness, but it definitely doesn't feel totally, totally dry. It's like a very mild amount of tackiness, but again, that's just something I wanted to mention. Now, as far as these products being transfer proof, I would say they're like 90% transfer proof. I'll show you guys a little test. I have nothing on the back of my hand right now. Let's do a little kiss test. Okay, so you can see that there's just a little bit of product right here. As far as eating and drinking with this product, I do find that it does last pretty well throughout a meal. However, if you're getting really mouthy with your food, like if you're eating like a burger or tacos or anything that requires a lot of mouth action, <laughs> then you probably will have to reapply it afterwards. But if you're just like eating something a little bit more dainty, then you may be good. I actually might as well try this out as a blush right now on camera for the first time and see how it applies because I've never done it. So I could do a little bit of like a first impression. So let's just see what this looks like as a blush. So I'm going to take the shade Bella. I'm going to just dot onto the apples on my cheeks and I'm going to use just my finger just to blend it out. that did blend out really, really easily. I feel like a product like this would be really great for somebody who um, doesn't really wanna mess with too many products in the morning when they're getting ready for like school or work. And you could use like the same product for your lips, your cheeks, and your eyes. I thought I would have to go in with a beauty blender because I wasn't sure how it was gonna blend, but this actually looks really nice. All right. It definitely works as a blush. So that finishes off today's spotlight on the Nude 6 Intense Matte Lip and Cheek Pencil. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this type of video. Definitely let me know what you thought in the comments. Give this video a big thumbs up. And of course, subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And I will see you guys next time.